So we've changed the oil in the um, the weed project out of the weeds. Is that what we're calling it? Out of the weeds? Yeah. So we've changed the oil in our out of the weeds uh, bayou. Now the <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna do is what? It's been sitting for a long time. Several years. Don't look at the parts. I don't even know what they are. You explained them earlier. There's the really intimidating one, and there's the, um, the, um, what's the car? Carbonator thing? Is Carburetor. Thing? Carburetor. So, <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fix the fuel system on this, because it's been sitting for a long time. We know the carburetor's bad. The fuel filter's probably bad. Uh, there's probably a lot of bad things about this, so we're going to change the fuel line valve, the carburetor, the fuel filter, and get our fuel system kind of back into some sort of working order. Yes. I need you to take, disassemble all of this. We have to get to the carburetor, which is back here, so all this has to come off. Get to work. Is the air filter box. Hey, perfect fit. Good job. What size is that? Ten. Ten millimeter. So we want to remove this, probably this whole box. So we have plenty of room to get into that carburetor. Probably like living creatures in this box. Oh, look at that. What's that? That's the air filter. Do we have a new one of those? Yes, we do, but that's an another part of the video. Um, can I have a putty something? Is that going to stop the whole box coming off? Yeah, it's under it. It's under it. The, the box is still screwed in on yeah. this side. I just want to see if I get it off. Different size. <laughs> that looks like the eight millimeter. What should you do with the other one? I don't remember. Maybe I put it over there. Did you? We should check. But there's a lot of screws over there. We need the extension. Oh, and that that's a part that we need to take off anyway. That's exciting. Okay. Yay. How do you like home mechanics? It's great. This is too small. Off now. Feels it's fairly loose. Go ahead and get the screwdriver because you're gonna. Well, hold on. Uh, uh, voila, look at that. There. That's ugly. Is our carburetor. Beautiful. I'm gonna need you to remove the carburetor. This right here is the voltage rectifier. That's for the regulator. intimidating one. The intimidating piece? It's the one with the big name. Carburetor is a bigger name than a voltage rectifier. No. Nope. Carburetor sounds friendly. That does not. Well, we're going to be replacing this too anyway. So take the carburetor off, dearie. 
have to replace the gas line as well, or the gas, the, the fuel filter and stuff. The more junk we get out of our way, the easier it's is gonna be. I'm not sure that all these parts are necessary anyway. Oh, you don't have to do that. Now I'm bolting the frame. It's like, uh... So you're gonna take these, and down along the fuel line, you've got all these clips. You're gonna need to unclip them. So you come in here like this, and squeeze. And just pull them further back along the line. This pop out. There's fuel in there. It's really old fuel. Um, get me dump that container of oil into the oil, and then bring me that container. So I'm actually going to take this just stick it right here so that when I pull the fuel line off. Oh, it was so much easier last time, okay. I'm just gonna let the fuel drain into this. See how you... It's killing my brain cells. Oh, good lord. Do you see how dark yellow that fuel is? Yeah. It's really bad fuel. Uh-oh. This fuel valve here is gonna come off. Uh, there's a couple bolts up in here, they feel like eight millimeter. So you could probably start on that. And I'm gonna go get um, the, this carburetor needs an Allen wrench. So, so this thing here, it's got two bolts going into the gas tank. That's what you wanna pull off. Yeah. Maybe a 10? 10 millimeter? Oh, you finally got it off. Whoa. Is that thing, that thing is blasted. Did any pieces come out with it? I mean, that thing was like seriously just busted. See how it should have those? Oh, right down here. You're gonna have to use the bolts that came with the old one. Or this, the, yeah. Screws, bolts, nuts, all the same thing to me. If they fit, they fit. Is it on there tight? Okay, so the carburetor <coughs> is held on by some bolts that are Allen wrenches. Let me try and get the one on the other side here. Get it?
it's here. You're <laughs> trying. It's not coming out any faster. Okay. Merry you, Christmas. Can you pull that thing out now? The whole thing? Yeah. It's attached. That thing. Oh, ah, throttle cable. Okay, so you gotta detach that. And then this is the top bolt. Now can you pull it out? On the other side. <laughs> Can you grab me the new throttle body? This is the the choke. So that clutch or that carburetor it appears that like this piece here has come off of this one and go on to that one. Ew. Now, now they look the same. Yeah. So that goes on there. We'll just leave it loose on there for now because I'm not sure which direction it needs to go. I wasn't paying attention. You can twist it. I'm pretty sure it was like this. Yeah. And then it's, it's, like it's got, that's our fuel line. This is our new fuel line. We have to put the choke on this. Um, which is this. Yes. Well, I'll show you how we do that. What goes in that thing? Yeah, but we've got to take this off. We have to unscrew this. Hold that. the carburetor. So your choke this piece slides into there. This piece is made for a manual choke, so we're going to take the old one. Here's the old one. We're going to use the old one. See how that one doesn't have the manual choke? Like there's no hole through it? And that one does? Yeah. Slide this. Bring in. Seriously. Okay. 
see. Oh, there's a big spider. Try to look at the spider. Get the spider. There's a spider. Get the spider. Nobody cares about a spider. I do. Get the spider, please. It's right there. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. Okay, so we had to use the old chokes piece or the old carburetor's piece to get the choke in there. Now where? Mm -hmm. This. This then goes into here. This is our choke. And we'll just have to. Put that back into place. Everything else is hunky dory. Now this is going to be our fuel line. So I believe this actually turn in this direction. You get the screwdriver. So this came off of our old carburetor too. Oh, here it is. See, that wasn't too hard, was it? You could figure that out on your own. Yeah, sure. Now, slide this back up in there. And basically bolt it back into place for you to be able to bolt out. Bolt that bad boy on there. It's called an Allen wrench. But you can call it a thingy. I call everything a thingy. So you think you're gonna be able to work on your motorcycle when you get one? <laughs> well, I'm not doing a dirt bike first. Watch some of Wrangler Star's videos. He's got dirt bikes. It's really difficult to screw these in. No. Nobody ever said life was easy. Is it even moving? I don't know. I can't really see what you're doing. I can't feel what I'm doing. I can see the carburetor moving, so it's not on there. You know which way is tight and which way is lo loose? Yeah, now I do. So this is our, our new fuel line. I want you to cut it. So just cut it right about here. And then we're gonna right stick, here. yeah, we're gonna stick this on there like this. So the fuel comes in. Now, we need those metal clasps off the old fuel system because this one didn't come with clasps. This? No, uh, look at the fuel line where the fuel filter is. Where did we take that off? There it is. See these things? You're gonna wanna pull those two off and then there should be a gas line somewhere on the ground over there. Pull those off too. And then just pull that apart. Remember how to do those? Let me get it off of With these fuel filters, you want the fuel to come in. Can I break and this? And then you have the, f the filter parts that can garbage can come in right here, and then it comes out to that side. What are you asking me to do? Break it. So I can get these off. Alright, hand me. Because I loosened them, but you can't get them off. Here, go ahead and find the other one. This one. This one. Mhm. Mm and pull those off there. Okay. And then, is there? Will the clip fit over that? See if it'll. Tighten it any? No. Great. Well, we'll just stick it on there and hopefully it doesn't leak. <coughs> uh, no, you pull could. that pull that metal piece off. You don't need it. And then this is going to go into. Can't break 
my forearm. But it was... Our flow valve here. Like that. Yeah, I got it. And we'll check the system for leaks. If it's going to leak, then we'll get some clips. Pretty amazing, Kaya. Look at all the dead ants. It's disgusting. What does a spark plug do? What does a spark plug do? Yeah. You're joking, right? Why is it so important? The one thing I thought was going to be the hardest thing is the easiest thing to do. Yeah, I was wondering why you thought it was so scary. What you doing? Fixing the pulley thingy. What happens when you let go of the pulley thingy? 